how do you see individuality? What's your perspective? Is it simply being left alone? Or is it pulling your own strings? Does your individual freedom involve any kind of personal courage to do what you want? The doing part, the going part. Um, it's often an, an aspect that is actually overlooked. I mean, guys resent being human doings, but like it or not, we are. And there's actually a lot of fulfillment in the doing if you focus on your individuality and your autonomy. That is placing yourself first, seeing yourself in the equation first, you know, leading yourself first in thought. Does your individual freedom involve any kind of courage? It's an interesting question. Because often things we throw stones at, like, you know, women, bosses, jobs, governments, and all those things, they can tend to be convenient pinatas. Meanwhile, what you're really avoiding is your own inertia and your fears. And without wanting to offend anybody, um, that kind of laziness that results in the inertia. Now, I'm not pretending to be an expert, but there's something in this. I've noticed it in myself. The, the lazier I am continually day after day, the, the bigger hole I dig for myself. So the more little things you can do in the day, uh, the more it alleviates any kind of sort of deadness and, and feelings of dragging yourself around. You know, to me, individuality is about being conscious that you're here. You're not always attaching to people and things out there to give yourself some sort of momentum and an energetic response to the world. It's kind of like you're here, you think, and and you drive your own engine. You know, you light your own fire, you make yourself move. You know, being conscious of yourself here is not just being an individual that's alone in some sort of sensory deprivation tank where you're not relating to the world. Individuality is not leave me alone, I'm locking myself away, don't touch me, I don't want to be hurt. It's no, I have a right to be alive. What do I think? I'll live this life. I'll do what I feel like doing. I will enjoy my life the way I want to enjoy it. I'll relate and cooperate with the world fairly. Individuality and isolation often get confused. And you, you hear people talk about them almost interchangeably, but they never touch and they're not really the same thing. Isolation, sure, it can be the freedom to just be alone and do nothing but think, regroup and plan. But plan to act. You know, continual planning without any action is just, to me, no wonder people get down on themselves. Continual preparation and never acting. <laughs> continual erection and never having sex. I mean, it's a frustrating life. Isolation can be the freedom to be alone and think, but individuality to me is uh, the freedom to matter. You know, your individuality, don't confuse it with isolation. To me, individuality is a verb. It's not a static place. Sure, be prudent. Think about what you're going to do. Plan. Don't just continually look forward to these things and hoard information and hoard planning and stay here. Practice some of it. Think of it like a release valve for the pressure in your head, for the anxieties. Like the release valve is action, is ethics, to practice those thoughts and planning. Individuality to me suggests it should be a verb, just like going your own way and doing your own thing. Not neurotically being stuck here, constantly planning a theory of how you may and might, and you're continually refining it. It reminds me of people who are always waiting for the right piece of equipment or sneakers, you know, before they actually go for a walk or the right pencil before they start writing or drawing or the right whatever before they, before they act. There's always an excuse before they act because it needs to be perfect. Meanwhile, the grave's approaching and we tend to not do anything just for our own contentment and happiness. Um, Something to think about. Don't confuse isolation with individuality. Anyway, feel free to support me. Links below this content and in my about section. 
I really appreciate it. And make sure to hit the bell icon and select all to be notified of my next video. Thanks.